Tulip poplar still carries its tulips here. Well, I guess I better be careful what I ask for, huh? So we got a little snow, only about two inches. Woo! Guess it's time to get rid of the pumpkins, eh? I do want to tell you about this axe and how I modified it and what you can do. The bare bones, minimum modifications you can make to this axe and make it much better. But first, let's take a walk. Come on, man. Uh, if you don't want to go on a walk with me, I totally understand. No hard feelings. I'll put a time link there. You can just skip ahead to the axe mods, but it's gorgeous out. It's Saturday. I'm doing a Sabbath Saturday walk. Hope you guys will come along, but if you don't, I'll see you in a minute. So it's true, it was dad that taught me to hunt, but it was mom who knew best when it came to dress. She taught my brother and I how to dress for the weather and her trick was layers. She always said, you can take some off, but you can't put more on. Mom knew best when it came to dress. I love to get out in these wide open spaces on the sunny day, just brightens my mood. I'm gonna go get some icicle shots right now. I love shooting B-roll. It seems silly, but I enjoy it the most. Can you believe that Steve Wallace slept in one of these things? Stealth camped in one of these things? Uh, only hobo to ever make a career out of it. Steve Wallace. I'll take you guys over there and show you, but uh, we missed the morning sun. Morning sun is the best for icicle shots. And I was a little lazy. I saw the sun come up, but I watched it from my lazy boy. But I'll get a couple of shots nonetheless.
one fought a little bit. Everything's a little wet. All right, we'll get some green tea and turkey tail going and then we'll have a little chat. She's a choochin now, boys. Take a little peek at it. Oh yeah. All right, so the first thing that should be said about this little ax is that it is not intended to be a chopping ax. I mean, I suppose if you file the cheeks back a lot, you could make this thing a little bushcraft ax, no doubt about it, you could, but its intended purpose is a kind of camp splitter, something just like this where you have to carry it in. It's not gonna be busting at your knee because it's short and it's gonna do the job of splitting saw cut rounds as you just saw there. The first thing that I did on this ax is thin out the handle some. Basically taper the sides down and made them flat. Not as thin as I would if it was a chopping ax, but I detailed it to my comfort, the palm swell included. If you're new to this, don't be afraid to take material off the handle. You're gonna be afraid, especially in a chopping ax at first, that you're taking off way too much material. And chances are you're not even taking off nearly enough, but it's nothing you can't fix. And if you mess it up, you know, you messed it up, but you're not going to. That's my point. Slap the coat or two of boiled linseed on this boy. And called it good. The other mod I made on this little Hudson Bay pattern is to taper the bevel back just a little bit more and put a fine, fine micro bevel on this. I like a splitting uh, hatchet, ax, whatever you want to call this thing, uh, kindling maker, to be sharp, not razor hair popping sharp, but sharp so that if you need to use it for something else, you can. So one thing you want to take in consideration if you want a even grind is the direction in which you filed it. So it was most comfortable for me to file on that other side from the heel to the toe. On this side, it would be more comfortable if I were file, filing from the toe to the heel. But then my grind won't match. So I need to switch to heel to toe on this side as well. So an axe is not complete unless it has a mask on it or a sheath. So this is just a quick down and dirty uh, sheath out of a small piece of veg tan. You can see that there's no stitching involved. It's just all rivets, a simple snap system in the front. And it does fit quite nice and tight because I did take the time to uh, wet form it. So I'll show you. Oh, snap is, I, I, I make the snap a little tight when I first make it because the leather will stretch and then it stays on tight and that's how I like it. Where it's not any wiggle, 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 wiggle. I like big wiggles, I cannot lie. All the other brothers cannot deny. 